Hey guys, what's up? It's Matt with 86. One simple expectation that was instilled early in me with what I'm looking for today is something that's high performance and a lower price. That's always been kind of one of the things I'm most fond of at looking at, at least on this channel. Fifine is an example of this as a solid contender, especially for audio needs while not committing highway robbery of your wallet. There is a mild drawback or two to this headset, but overall, if you know Fifine, you probably know you can expect something pretty good here. Before we dive in, let's knock out what most people came for, and that's to see how well the mic works. As usual, we'll do this together and I won't know until post editing what we get. I will say though, Five Find doesn't disappoint, so let's see if they make me eat my words here. Okay, so right now you're hearing me on this headset microphone. I've also got the D80V07U is right here. It's got some fuzz on it. I should probably cleaned it up before doing this. And I'll kind of swap between the two like right now. And right now you're hearing me talking to the V07. You're hearing me talking through, not to the V07U. This is what the V07U sounds like compared back to this, which is what this headset microphone sounds like to hopefully give you some sort of contextual idea. Now, typically I'm a little more closer to the V07U. It's a dynamic microphone that requires a little bit more of that close range pickup. But uh, I'm sitting right about here to, to give you an idea, I guess, what the two sound like. This is what I'm recording the video with. This is what I'm talking to you on right now. This is what this headset microphone sounds like, the Fifine H9. And then this is the VO7U and what it sounds like when I'm talking through it. Hopefully this gives you some kind of idea and we get to sort of discover and post together uh, what this is, what this means, what this sounds like. Is this another good microphone? Did Fifine do a good job again? We'll find that out in just a minute. The H9 is a wired headset featuring compatibility for PC, PS4, and 5, as well as Xboxes and Switch. The H9 weighs in at 250 grams, and in the box we get a setup guide and a smaller box with a detachable inline control that features a pretty nice built-in audio processing sound card, as well as a detachable mic. The headset comes with a pre-affixed 3.5 millimeter braided cable to plug directly into aux, or more preferably into that mentioned inline USB controller. You're gonna you're you're gonna want to go that route. The inline controller allows you to adjust the mic gain up and down as needed, as well as volume. Smack in the center is a 7.1 on-off button for the 7.1 virtual surround. On the left side of the inline control is a toggle switch for muting the mic in a pinch. It's a simple design, and I appreciate simple, executable designs like this. It's a little bit big and bulky, but I can overlook that. The headset employs 7.1 virtual, as I mentioned a moment ago, and maybe it's just me, and in my case, not just specific to this headset, but virtual 7.1 seems to have been taken a bit of a dive here. It's no more accurate than stereo mode to my ears, and it sounds a little bit muddier and less enjoyable to play a game with it on. I've found it's just better to leave them off altogether, and that, that goes across many headsets at this point. It's a high quality build that offers a contortionist range of flex, and while it is a material style of comfortable, it's also a bit stiff after a while, and prolonged use can kind of feel uncomfortable. The pads are fixed and non-changeable. It's by design a little bit isolating. My daily driver uses a soft mesh so I can hear kind of what's going on around me. These use a faux leather circumoral enclosure that greatly isolate you from your surrounding. This might be a hit, or it might be a miss depending on who you are. I, for one, like to still kind of hear the things going on around me in the room and be able to talk to people without moving a cup off my ear, so making the cup design not really kind of my style. Now, audio is a very subjective thing. We all hear differently and like things a little bit differently when it comes to sound. There's no way around that. To me, these sound great when not in 7.1 virtual. They easily strike a comfortable range of quality and reproduction, and even in stereo, I find them just purely great to listen to. As I mentioned earlier, in stereo mode 2, directional audio is still something that's a bit of a hit with these. They do a good job of reproducing locations of sound, and that gives me zero complaints. In a nutshell, that's the Fifine H9. I hope it was somewhat helpful and useful to you. Have a great day, night, whatever it is, and I'll see you in the next video that we do.